Odin gives me a bargain. A few dead men at my feet in exchange for a ripe East Anglia, and my wife returned. What a day! You. I don't know you. You don't need to know my name. You won't have a use for it beyond today. <laughs> Who called for me? Was it you, Valdis, my love? Why would I call you now? After five happy years away from your stinking balls. Mega! Just to be tung and bull. What a handsome cat. Hello, friend of Freya. What's wrong? Hey, Dolly, come back, you snake. Here, little one. No, stop. Oh, pig poop. You ran off again. Cats are free spirits, aloof and haughty. Like the goddess Freya. I know, but ever since old Cotter died, that old sea cat has run wild, scaring the chickens and scratching me. Ah, Schiff's cats are good luck. Do you need help catching him? Oh, yes, please. Do not think the horse can hear you. That horse can't hear anything. So how does he... Uh, how did Father do it then? The horse always comes when he summons it. Father was a good horse summon owl, have you know. An owl rides in his stead. Girl. <laughs> 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 
I, the great summoner Asta, call to you, my noble steed skin faxi. Ha, my summoning worked. Your horse is a little unsettled, but safe. I, Asta the great summoner, first of the name, thank ye. <laughs> Next time, summon a bridge. Well, if it isn't Eivor of the Raven Clan. How do you know me? People talk. I've heard all the rumors that Eivor the Dane is a coward, a cur, and a leech. Perhaps you can swing that wee axe on your belt, but I doubt you've much talent for speech. You might be surprised. Let us duel. Well, I'll need a wager first. Here's the silver. Now begin. To all those whom I speak, they say Eivor's a clod. Then you're speaking to fools and their knowledge is flawed. Well, not bad. They say you're a coward who runs from a fight. And they are sorely mistaken, I'm known for my might. Interesting. Interesting. Silent whispers all claim that you're terribly dense. And you have clearly misheard them, my wit is immense. Oh, you looked out with that one. Well, what a surprise! Eivor of the Raven Clan is a true talent. I'm shocked. Do not believe everything you hear. Unless it touches on my flighting, then heed every word. Take the coin, and know that only praise will henceforth cross my lips. Fitting feathers for a king slaying. These arrows are very lovely. Very lovely indeed. I'll follow you, Abe. Eh? I will wait for the day I earn a place.
such exquisite fletchings. Fitting feathers for a kingslaying. Fitting feathers for a king slaying. How dare you touch those sacred arrows? You've desecrated a martyr's place. Hold, stranger. Show me those arrows. These are just arrows, plain and simple. Why are you so passionate about these arrows? When Father James blessed the late King Edmund, he blessed that holy throne and all upon it. The blessing did not take. That depends on your opinion of King Edmund. I wonder... I have studied those arrows, but never dared touch them. But since you plucked them anyway, would you sell them to me? I'm willing to sell, but the King Edmund arrows might be mixed up with my own. I've the eye of an archivist, able to sort new from old. The kingdom's history shall be restored. Just sell them all to me. These arrows are the very same that pierced good Saint Edmund. I must study these holy relics. Thank you.
What? You made it. Dunwich, will its men tore through it? Dunwich. It is time to light the brazier. I'll light it. You do the talking. Bruther Valdis and I will scout the dock. Make sure there are no surprises. Oswald and I will hold here until the brazier is lit. The front gate is heavily guarded. You'll not be walking in. I'll find my own way. We'll be watching you back. Dunwich. Now to clear out Ruid's men and light that brazier. Thank <laughs> you. 
Ooh! 
that's the last of them. Once the Bracia is lit, the rest of Ruid's men should arrive. Odin gives me a bargain. A few dead men at my feet in exchange for a ripe East Anglia, and my wife returned. What a day! You. I don't know you. You don't need to know my name. You won't have a use for it beyond today. <laughs> Who called for me? Was it you, Valdis, my love? Why would I call you now, after five happy years away from your stinking balls? I called you, Ruid. You, Oswald, the hopeful king of East Anglia. And Valdis's husband-to-be. Take your men and go. East Anglia is strong with Saxons and Danes united. It will not fall to raiders. <laughs> Must I set sail for Denmark with nothing to show for the journey, after coming all this way? You'll have my weight in silver, and an abundance of livestock and grain. I've taken ten times that already. What's the real prize? I'll make you an offer, Pigfoot. A home gang, just you and me, for the future of your kingdom. I accept. I accept. A fight to the death. East Anglia's the prize. Let it be heard. The hazel is laid! The square is made. When you see a chance, lead Valdis and the brothers to safety. They must not fight today. East Anglia needs them. Let me be your champion. No. He called on me. Whenever you're ready, king of sheep shit! I'm ready!
They're breaking off. They've given up for now. That puts some distance between us. We can rest a moment. By Thor, he fought well. Raging like a bonfire. We should go back! Don't hold to hope. Few could survive such a fall. None could. Not from that height. Ruid's men will press their advantage. We must be ready when they attack. We'll go to Norwich. Meet me there when you can. He died a hero. There's no doubt. If his god won't take him, all the sword women will. Elmenham will not recover. None of us will.
And above all, we shall remember the man's devotion to God and his mission. Raise your mugs to Oswald tonight at the spanking pit. That is what the man would have wanted. Another king lost Abel. Stop washing your face with mead. How can I face half Don Yarl now? I fail him again. We can take the battle to what remains of Ruud's clan before they hit back. Easier said than done. His men are holed up in Bor Castle, a fortress on the sea. On the sea? Then it must have a harbor. It does. Guarded by a gate of hefty iron held in place by timber spikes, difficult to force open. Timber burns. It does. But how do we reach it? We rig your ship with oil at her front and sail it ablaze at the gate. They would see us coming long before we reached the walls. We raise a fit, an army of East Anglia's farmers. Throw them at the front gate as a distraction. <laughs> Saxons willing to die for a bunch of Danes? It's a stretch. It can work, Finir. If they fight in Oswald's name, that is all the courage they will need. <laughs> you there! Did you hear of Thane Oswald's fate? Aye, we did. He dragged Ruid to the bowels of Elba, Dane Devil. Ruid may be gone, but his clan still plagues East Anglia. And would you join us to rid your kingdom of his dogs? For Oswald? Aye, anything. Two eager Saxons is not yet defeated. But you may be right. We may have a chance. I can ride to Elmenham and muster what remains of Oswald's men there. But who else would join us? The Reeve of Thaedford, Winston. He's a bitter old barnacle, but he would fight to the death this land. We can assemble a forward camp at the ruins north of Boer Castle. Ride with me, Fenir. Let's pay this Reeve a visit. With any hope? The Vault remains untouched by Ruid's violence. Hope is a scarce word in this kingdom. Maybe so, but I would rather hold on to something, anything, than ride with empty hands. Ruid's clan continues to roam this kingdom unchecked. The people of East Anglia will be as ravaged as these lands. And where do we find ourselves? Riding into defense to beg a horde of frightened farmers for aid. To fight for a king that you gave them, Finir. Remember that. It was my task to find them a king, not protect that king against every danger that might befall him. Oswald wasn't crowned yet, nor was he married. I say you have some work yet to do. Right, right. No need to remind me of our Watch your back. Ruid's clan may still be nearby. Theobald, just ahead. Wood smoke and ash. Ruid's men have been here. Watch your back. Ruid's clan may still be nearby. So no times to waste what the Lord has given us. What about you, Papa? There's so little. Ah, uh, my friend, we will rebuild, I promise you. I ain't got the strength no more. Stand tall. Clan is your enemy, not me. I come on behalf of the late Oswald of Elmenham. You're still a Dane from top to two, but you're meddling that led to Oswald's death, and even our kingdom for the worse. Oswald died defending East Anglia, defending you. Will you not do the same? What? 
Do I in defense of a last cause? I have problems of my own. East Anglia will fall if Root's clan is not defeated. Fight with me to drive them off. For Oswald and your kinsmen. Pretty words, Dane. But the men of Theovard have their own battles to fight. If you need an axe, I'm standing right here. There's a village to the east, Kingsbury. It was taken by Ruid's men a fortnight ago. And I'll not rest until it's back in our hands. Let me and my raiders take the village. Save your strength, and join us for the fight to come. A bold offer. If you do as you promise, the pikes at Theovard will be yours. I will take this news to our forward camp, Eivor. Follow where you can. I will see you there. Kingsbury's church has a great horn atop its steeple. If you manage the task, blew it. I'll know you kept your word. <laughs> you there! Dane! A word, if you will. You called to me. We heard you talking with the Reeve, and we wish to fight beside you. We owe Oswald for his good deeds and fair rule. I'm glad to hear it. Go to the ruins north of Buch Castle. The army gathers there. Have you seen Mother? Oh, blessed. Your mother? When was last you saw her? Before the bad men came. Said she'd be right back, but she ain't. She will be, little one. I'm sure of it. If you say so.
fall for any traps. Throw him for me! Yeah. Lots of plunder here. With the crew's help, we could get it back to the ship.
The Reeve has come to join me. Let's hope his promise holds. The horn! It's been so long since I've heard that sweet sound! Praise be! I held to my oath, Reeve. I hope you will honor yours. My promise holds, I. The Ovord will join you in the fight against Ruid's clan. With your aid, we may yet save East Anglia. In past times, that horn was used to muster fears all across our land. You may find others who have warmed to its call. Good. Whatever willing men you find, rally them soon at the ruins north of Burt Castle.